Hello, what's up? Welcome to this channel. As I promised you, this is gonna be this video, guys, where I'm gonna show you how to set up Dolphin Emulator so that you can play Pokemon Battle Revolution to the best performance possible on the Dolphin Emulator. I'm gonna show you as well how to import uh, customized Pokemon with the items, EVs, IVs, and all the stuff if you know or have any knowledge with a Pokemon competitive scene. And with anything further ado guys, uh, I'm not gonna talk too much and let's hop directly to my desktop and let me show you how to get this thing started. See you there. Alright, as we are on my desktop right now, we're gonna need 4 files to actually make this tutorial work. So, the first file we're gonna need guys is Dolphin Emulator itself. I'm gonna, link this, I'm gonna link the link in the description below so you don't have to go to trial and errors to try to find the actual site. So I'm gonna link you to this site right here, you're gonna be like here and the only thing you're gonna need to do is to click on download and download the latest one, that is the first one up here. I already did that so I'm not gonna download this program right now, the Dolphin Emulator. So I'm gonna minimize here and show you exactly what settings you're gonna need to actually succeed hashtag bars so we go to options and the first thing we're going to do is we go into configurations we need only to do some simple steps um, just copy the same uh, settings that I have on my emulator and you're good to go so uh, enable dual core speedup and JIT recompiler recommended uh, for general and other things as well guys Interface, it's up to you, whatever you want to do and customize. Uh, audio, DSP, HAL, emulation fast, and uh, you could do enable audio stretching, that's up to you. And audio backend, X Audio 2. Pads, um, pads is where you uh, actually can locate your game, where you did your, where you put your IS, ISO, I think it's called, or does it call what something else? But I think you get the hang of it, what I mean. So as example, you did download uh, your games uh, into your desktop. So you're going to add desktop and OK. And you got so your, so your games actually pop up when you start the emulator. GameCube, uh, you can set the language and whatnot. Keep it as it is. Wii U, you can as well here do something, insert SD card. I don't know how this works, but keep it at the R and advanced is the same thing so you're done with this you go on again to options and now we go to the more important stuff to the graphics uh, general here based back end OpenGL guys I do recommend expect ratio automatic but you can go for force by 69 uh, or you go by 4 by 3 but I recommend automatically uh, you could use here full screen and so whenever you start your um, whenever you start a game it's gonna directly pop up automatically full screen so you don't have to do an extra step and do it by yourself show FPS keep it do like that you can do that if you want to if you nerd and if not you can disable it and shader complication guys I do recommend uh, I think that's how you call it and if I budget guys I'm sorry and uh, this is the best it works for me and works for others as well Enhancement guys here. I do recommend it depends on your PC uh, How strong it is if you have i5 I do recommend uh, actually do you can actually try um, native 3 on Antenalizing guys you can turn it off or you can keep it at MSA 2 and Anti-stropic filtering you, ca you can actually not change much than one and keep it at it is post processing effect uh, Don't even think about it. It's only trash skate if we copy that makes your game look even better. So keep that. Force 24 bit color. Not gonna change anything on your performance. Therapic 3D mode, turn it off. And hacks uh, here, guys. Keep EFB access from CPU. And ignore format change. The F EFB copies to RAM. And store EFB copies to texture only. Disable that. Uh, accuracy, guys, go on fast. But if, I think if you want to play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, uh, I have a video as well there for you on my channel where you can see what sense you're gonna need. It's gonna be a little more different. Um, accuracy, GPU texture decoding, yep, enable it. Store XP copies to texture only, yes, and fast the port calculation. 
calculation sorry and the same here and then close it so with those old settings you are good to go when it goes to the emulator itself uh, the last thing you need to do of course guys if you never use Dolphin emulator you need to configure your controller or your keyboard depends what you have at the time so you go post port 1 standard controller configure you go to configure and then you just uh, set up the buttons the controller or the keyboard and depends on here you can select whatever you have, input keyboard or mouse, or, in, or input wireless controller. For me, it's a wireless controller, so I select wireless controller. If you use keyboard and mouse, uh, you use keyboard and mouse. That's simple it is. And then as I told you, you set every button up and you're good to go. That was it for the emulator itself, guys. Uh, really easy. The second thing we're gonna need um, to succeed is the program called um, PKHex. This is actually a Pokemon emulate uh, um, editor, you can call it, or yes, Pokemon editor where you can customize your Pokemon as you like and as you wish. Shout out to Kopotix, uh, he's the guy who does magic. So let's see, you're gonna need this. You're gonna go, I'm gonna get to this side, I'm gonna leave the link up as well. In the description below download this file and the one that you want to download guys is not the second one here not this one you will need the first one pkhacks 181202 zip click on download and it's going to download immediately i have this problem i have the program as well so i'm not going to download it let's go down here and it's going to look like that it's going to be in a compressed folder so you're going to need WinRAR or 7-zip, uh, easy programs to get. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for this 7-zip or um, PKHex. So good. Don't do anything, just download the program and put it like wherever you want to. So the last thing you're going to need then is the, is the save file for Pokemon Battle Revolution, guys. Um, this is the link for it. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below as well. You can download it. I'm gonna re-download it actually. Uh, before continuing, all right. Let's see, does it work? Now I downloaded it once, so I this why it doesn't work. Uh, now it works actually. There we go. So that is guys. You click on download, and it's gonna download automatically. I'm gonna download it for you, only to show you that safe. That's the file is safe, and there's no virus, whatnot. As you might see, uh, I did it once, and I did it twice now. So I'm gonna go in, and now let's go to show folder. Actually, this is the save file what you're gonna need to actually customize your Pokémon. Without that, you cannot. Uh, import uh, customized Pokemon uh, as you wish. So we set up the emulator. Um, we um, got the second program, PKHex, to edit your Pokemon. So the last thing you need to do, and we got the Pokemon save file. And the game, as I told you, it's up to you. I cannot, I can unfortunately not show you where you get the game, the Pokemon Revolu Pokemon Battle Revolution game. And with that all said, guys, we're going to the last and final thing. How to customize your Pokemon and implement them to the game. Alright, so you open now the program PKHex as I showed you. It's gonna look like this. Um, you take the save file that you downloaded and drag it to the green field here. So now I'm gonna actually delete some Pokemon. Those Pokemon are gonna show up actually, guys, when you do that. And all the boxes are full. I do recommend to use them because they're really actually really um, competitive. But of course, if you want, um, let's see, a custom Pokemon by yourself, right? So what you need to do is just go right click, right? With the mouse, right click guys, delete, right click, delete, right click, delete. Let's see, let's say we delete uh, all those here, right? And I gonna, uh, you want like, a really fresh from, from from scratch right you want to want to put more from scratch what you need to do guys is just go on species species click on it and choose whatever Pokemon you want but of course keep in mind guys Pokemon Battle Revolution is gen 4 so you can only have Pokemon from gen 1 to gen 4 gen 5 6 and 7 are not available uh, for this game 
So let's see as a I want Articuno. I love actually Articuno. It's so beautiful. Um, let's put just Articuno inside here. So let's see you want shiny Articuno, right? Just click on this one on the star. It's going to be shiny and you want to nickname it. Just click on the nickname box and nickname whatever you want. We're going to nickname him uh, Wow just for the sake of the video. Oh, you know what? Not wow. Emu Gaming. Emu Gaming. There we go. Experience. We're gonna make him level 100. So you see. And the nature. If you are, if you know something about Pokemon, you can change nature and whatnot. And I do recommend Modest for Articuno. Item. Leftovers. Here you can actually um, select whatever item you want to. But once again, guys, keep in mind. Uh, there are in every gen of, of the game are certain uh, items, so we're gonna like, give him left leftovers for the for the extra thing. And here you can change the ability. Unfortunately, there are no hidden abilities. I think in this game released for Articuno or the others, so you keep that. That's what you can get. And then you will meet. That doesn't really matter as much as long as you keep your Pokemon like legit. Stats guys, here we can you can make it really powerful. 31 here, make it 6 IV, perfect one. And I would recommend 252 and oh, sorry, 252 and special attack and 252 and speed. But that's up to you, you can do whatever you want to. Attacks, just click on that. Uh, you can choose whatever you want to, as example, pound. Okay, it's cannot learn pound, but it can learn. I just scroll up, and you can see the actually. Let's for the for the sake of the video, guys. Belly drum. Um, just go check out whatever uh, site you want to check out, and there you can see what moves are actually legit. But that's up to you guys. It's, so if you want to have some fun, you can really customize as you want to with legal moves, because you know belly drum, aqua jet, Amisha, it doesn't get. But for the sake of the video, so we're all done with that. You just go um, to the field where it's, where it's empty or maybe not. Right click and set. So your Pokemon gonna be uh, the, the the same one. So you with all that done to to save to add to save the file to save the Pokemon that you made. You're gonna go to File, Export Save, uh, Export. Sorry. So you need file, export save, export main, click on it and depends on where you put your file, I put it on the, on the desktop as you might see, click on it and save. The program is going to ask you, PVR save data already exists, do you want to replace it? Yes, we want to do that, save export and done. With it all done guys, after you have um, added your uh, game file, close PK hex, um, Keep this file always there. Just do a copy of it if you want to. I do always that. Copy the copy. Just take a copy of the file and go to your um, Dolphin Emulator folder. I just cost. It's not gonna look like that because I customize only the the folder, so it looks like a GameCube uh, for the visuals. But you're gonna. It looks actually gonna look like this. So you go to game your Dolphin Emulator folder. You go to User. We title you go into the second one this one um, content no sorry and uh, data and you're gonna go to genius PVR and here what you're gonna just paste the PVR save data and PVR means only Pokemon battle revolution save data so with that all done guys you close the you close the folder refresh two times I always do that Go into the Dolphin emulator, and if you did everything right, like really everything right, you start your game, like I do, and uh, let's hope it works. As you might see, guys, I have a 1060 uh, GeForce GTX graphic card, I have an i7 um, 6700 processor, and as you might see, the FPS right there, guys, it runs really flawlessly. 60 fps okay gonna load a little bit the audio for me was kind of high press any button 
and the game will say save files have been found uh, you go to Colosseum let's see continue and the file your game file gonna, na gonna be named Maya and playtime 234 just click on it let's see <laughs> does it gonna work <laughs> hello Maya this quick save data it's gonna ask you this guys but don't care, don't care about it, just the latest save data file. Um, no, yes. There we go. Quick save has been deleted. Okay, not, it's nothing too important, guys, not too important. Oh, sorry. So, let's see. You can go to Battle Pass now. Custom bat custom Pass. Here, we can, here where you can custom your um, Pokemon. Your, bat, your, your passes and whatnot. Let's see, I don't like now the Machamp. I'm gonna remove it. But only to show you that this actually works. So now we're gonna go to box one. And you should remember guys, we removed all those five Pokemon and we put our Articuno right in, right? Look at that now. Here's the Articuno guys. It's shiny, right? And check the moves. Belly Drum, Aqua Jet, Ausurance and Amnesia. Yeah, okay. So with this one saying guys, I think this really works. And just you, what you can do is just like set it in and you're very good to go. That's how it works. Then you just go out and uh, you go to battling. Alright, it's a little bit crazy. And you just can do free battles, go same battle. Let's see if you want to do Colosseum battle. Um, is this the first one, if I'm not wrong? Just want to show you this really works. Confirm. Uh, Barrow, no, this one. Uh, I think with the next one you can use, uh, you can use actually your, your, your Pokemons. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, just a little bit for the sake of the video. Was it, the, was it the, this one? Main Street. I know I could use my Pokemon. Just a minute, guys. I know I could use them. Confirm. There we go. Okay, cool. You can. It depends on which uh, arena you go in. There's it, guys. You just you use this Pokemon. And I'm gonna just show. I'm gonna go really fast through this, only to show you for the sake of the video. I'm going fast here. Oh no, it's that wheel thing. Please give me a Dadakuno. Give me the Articuno. No, okay, it's random. But as you can see, guys, you can get. That's good, good. We got Emo Gaming. That is, that is. That's the Articuno, guys. We have luck. Alright, we got it. Thank you, video. Or should I say thank you, game? Alright, cool. We got the Articuno, guys. Just want to show you that it really works. Because it's not online play, and of course, you can play with your friend. Neon In Coliseum this. Fortune Battle Battle One. It's gonna be interesting to All see right, how this turns out. That is, guys. That's the Tikuno. It started to hail in the Coliseum. They're ready All to right. battle and are awaiting their trainer's orders. Uh, we going just for random, random, random here. That's the Tikuno, guys. Tikuno Aqua Jet Man. I, I just want to see the uh, the, the Aqua Jet. There we go. So it really works, guys. And now, it's the easy. The blue corner makes the first yeah, the day, the day that I want to see how the Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this. There we go. So with this one said, guys, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day. And Barbara asks, keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emo from Emo Gaming, and I'm freaking out of here. Peace.